Alright, so, hey everyone, happy Sunday. It's, it sprang forward today and I'm so excited because it was still daylight at 7.30. Summer's approaching. So, I'm going to be doing another six for Sunday, but first, reading update. Still haven't read any more from Hollybox. So sad, but I need to talk about this. <laughs> because they did there, there was like a uh, like an extras where there was a bunch of Keanu's dressed up in like the leather coats and shaggy hair so kind of like a, a like a big battle scene with a bunch of uh, Neos for Matrix and Lou and True are at Coney Island they're on this ride and uh, they get off and then they like possibly bump into the real Keanu and Tr Lou has a freaking fit um yeah and so I'm enjoying it but then it mentioned John Wick and the dog okay so my story with John Wick I watched it the first one I watched the second one. Have not watched the third or the fourth one. The first one, the first five minutes. If you've seen John Wick, you know what I'm talking about. I almost cut it off and said, "No, I'm not watching this." I love action movies. I love anything that goes boom, boom, bang, bang. But what happens? I was ugly crying I was sobbing my husband he was just like do we need to turn it off do we need to turn it off no don't turn it off I need to see what happens and then at the end of the movie I was loving it but I was so pissed off because nobody told me what happens in the first five minutes and I'm not gonna tell you either because I had to suffer you'll suffer too but anyways that's my little segue into my six for Sunday so, the six for Sunday, it's a prompt, it's a blog meme where you have a prompt and you have to choose six books that fit that prompt. This is hosted by Steph over at A Little Bit A Lot. I will link her blog down below. And yeah, so I have six books, three are in the same series. So it's not cheating, it's three different books. So, I have three books in the same series, and then three other books. So, the first book I have is for Rue, The Hunger Games. Rue is a type of plant. It's not just a base on a sauce. It's not a gravy. It, it is a gravy button. It's not type, that type. Okay? So, Rue. Then I have Katniss. For Catching Fire. And look at my covers. I love these covers. I think these are like the 10th anniversary editions. And yeah. I can't choose a favorite out of all of these covers. But I know that I like this one better than this one. And then I have <laughs> Primrose for Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. And I know I did y'all wrong on that one. Because it's really sad. Like, why would you do that? Why would you mention Prim and Mockingjay? I had to. Because if I mentioned... I could have mentioned Katniss for this one. But Prim wasn't mostly in Catching Fire. So. Um. And it's heartbreaking. Prim. My Prim. But. Prim. That's three. Now. The next one, I have Violet for A Series of Unfortunate Events. This is the fourth book in the series, uh, The Miserable Mill. This one is, um, I have the show versions. We love the show. Um, this, has to, this has to be my favorite disguise by Count Olaf in the whole series, uh, Shirley. But yes, Violet. Okay. And then the next one, I was looking at a list of names because I honestly blanked 
after uh, the Hunger Games series. But then I saw Daisy from The Great Gatsby. And I remember she was a stone cold bitch. And I didn't like her when I read this. I really didn't like this book. So I'm going to have to do a like a series of classics that I like and classics that I don't like. And the classics that I don't like outweigh the classics that I do like. So, And then the last one I have is Chris from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. And I had to like research it like watercress but there it's cress it's a plant and then a couple of others that i thought of were audrey rose from stalking jack the ripper um what are some other ones jasmine <sighs> yeah so there's a lot but i'm blanking and i'm looking at my tbr and honestly i don't know any character names Okay, next week's prompt is books to get people out of reading slumps. Hmm. I'm going to have to think really long and hard on this one because if I get into a reading slump, I read fan fiction. So, I may switch this up. Fan fiction to read. And the only fan fiction I read is Hunger Games, Walking Dead, um... And that's it. <laughs> so, oh, I, um, anyways, about my day. I've done the book talks. Now, it's time for the life updates. So, I see it kind of the day. Still hasn't arrived. Still delayed. So, we didn't get our puppy. So, we're waiting. And hopefully, our package doesn't get delivered at a different address. Because the last time we had a package delayed in the city, where our $600 package is now, it got delivered to the wrong address. And this was completely different package. It's completely different item. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. Or I will be, like, raising Kane against FedEx. Um, but, yeah. I basically worked all day. Uh, been doing laundry, if you could hear my washing machine. I've been playing a game on my phone all day called uh, Bermuda Adventures. Really loving it. And if you want to <laughs> be invited and play this along with me, um, let me know and I will send you an invite. But yeah, that is my update for today. I need to get back to working. It's 9 o'clock. I need to put my clothes up. I need to put my kids to bed. And I need to clean my kitchen. So, I will see y'all tomorrow for day 14. We're almost halfway through the month. Whoop whoop! Okay. Update. I'm gonna have to do some research because I need to know if this is I'm fat checking. <laughs> Is Chris Evans a Keanu Reeves fan? <laughs> Her whole outburst in the bathroom at the party was just fucking hilarious. And then Captain America himself. I'm red. I'm laughing. Oh my god, my cheeks. this book. Why is it 2.94 stars? Ugh. It's supposed to be funny. It's humorous. Is it not categorized in the humor section on Goodreads? Because if not, then I will have to, like, write a letter to get that done. Because this is just funny as hell. And it makes me want chicken wings. They've ate They've eaten so many wings that I want some wings now. Especially Asian hot wings from my local Chinese restaurant. Oh my god. Yes. But Chris Evans. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Uh, I'm loving it. Happy Monday. Are you tired? I'm tired. So, reading update. I'm going to be sounding like a broken record all through these updates at the very beginning. So, we read more of Hollypox. Uh, Morgan is, like, becoming obsessed with the ghostly hours. And she's, like, ghosting her friends. Haha, <laughs> get it? I didn't make that pun. I swear. I did, but I didn't mean it. And I'm going to read... I'm going to try to read this tomorrow. The Epic of Gilgamesh by Anonymous. We don't know who wrote it. Um, it came out in the 1800s. I don't think. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about this. All I know is that Gilgamesh was like a hero. Kind of like Odysseus in Greek uh, mythology. And my kid, she's doing her end of the year uh, history project on Gilgamesh. And I did get this for her, but the day she brought this to me and was like, Mom, there's something really inappropriate in here, and I don't want to read it. I feel uncomfortable. So I took it, and I want to read it and make sure that there's nothing else inappropriate, and then I want to hand it back to her and say, you can finish reading it. So, M my bad. I'm sorry. But, I'm still reading this. I'm still loving it. I just cackled out loud because they're in a Truth or Consequences, New Mexico for the um, like Comic Con that Keanu is supposed to attend, and they're in this like little uh, private area. It's like a camper, and it's like tiny, and uh, yeah. So they have to share a bathroom. They have to share a bed. And True just got out of their like little shower bathroom area, and. <laughs> he had like this little towel wrapped around him and Lou just like freaks out like why are you wet why are you naked and then they like have a mishap and they fall over and she grabs his ass and uh she calls her nipples traitors it's very inappropriate but it's so fucking funny and they just need to bang already <laughs> so Yes, yeah, so that's my reading update. I, um, I don't know. This book is humorous. It's funny. And, yeah, so I'm on chapter 24. I'm on page 204. And I want to finish it tonight. But I want to take my time with the rest of this. Alright, so there's my reading update, life update. I hate FedEx with a passion. Mm -hmm. Yep, still no kennel, so that means still no puppy. We want Sai here. Um, me and my husband made the decision that we are going to do unboxing videos for our bark box that we're getting her. <laughs> She's so spoiled already, and we don't even have her yet. She's more spoiled than our cats, which is saying something. Um, so I'm going to have to remedy that. And. Yeah, so I hate FedEx because the kennel was shipped from Georgia. Then it was in South Carolina all weekend where I live. And now this morning it's back up in North Carolina. Tell me how that works. Tell me what is FedEx's thought process. I... Uh, and then my bark box is also being shipped by FedEx, which is just perfect. <sighs> so shipping woes of online shopping. I hate FedEx. If I could choose who my shipping would be, who I could have ship my packages, it would never be FedEx. It would always be UPS because I trust UPS. UPS has never got my shipping wrong. The only time that I've had a trouble with UPS is when I was doing a survey for a free product and it was laundry detergent and the laundry detergent ended up leaking in the package and UPS never 
delivered it back to the seller and I never got another so that was yeah but that's the only time other than that UPS has always been great so if I could choose UPS for everything I would um but yeah how are y'all doing today have y'all any shipping loads how's the weather it was nice and like not cold not too hot but just warm it was the Goldilocks of weather and I loved it um yeah also made cube steak in a slow cooker today which was chef's kiss delicious and that's it the girls had a good school day too but I'm going to go I'm going to go jump in the shower because I need to wash my hair and I need to finish working for today and I'll see y'all tomorrow hopefully with a dog kennel and my puppy so y'all can meet her and you know I need to meet her too I'm not I'm the only one that's not met her but hopefully we don't have any problems because I'm going to be taking care of her during the day she's the one that I'm the one that's going to be around her the most so <laughs> How is that going to work if she don't like me? But she's a puppy. So. Anyways. Bye.